Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent Thunderbolt 3 NVMe Enclosure. Now, this is a brand new product from Sabrent. It was sent over for review purposes. It retails, I think, for roughly 90 US dollars. I'll include a link in the description. And the beauty of this is that you are able to take an M.2 NVMe SSD, drop it in here. Again, it is tool free, so you can just open it up. And I've covered uh, Sabrent's tool free enclosures in the past but you will be unlocking the performance of your NVMe drive because this does support Thunderbolt 3. Now bear in mind, this isn't going to work with anything other than Thunderbolt 3. It is not backwards compatible. This isn't one of Sabrent's, uh, you know, extreme Q drives. Uh, maybe they'll come out with an enclosure like that in the future. I assume they will, but for now, this is, in my opinion, likely to be the best enclosure out there for anyone who again really wants to leverage the full performance of their NVMe SSD that they want to throw inside a drive and of course connect to a Thunderbolt 3 capable system. So let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging. And you know, I'm already familiar with this enclosure because I have it in the form of uh, external uh, NVMe SSDs that Sabrent has sent over for review. So I'm not expecting a difference in performance but the beauty of this drive, as I already mentioned, is that it is tool-free. The drive that I just showed you is not a tool-free drive. So that is something to really like about this. In other words, this is really designed to be uh, used as you know, a external drive for any NVMe you might have laying around. So first and foremost, they've included a Thunderbolt 3 cable. Remember, as I said earlier, this is not going to work unless you're using it with a Thunderbolt 3 capable machine. Don't think because it's type C, you can plug it in and it's gonna work. It is not going to work. And I mean, basically what you're about to see is exactly the same thing as I just flashed, the, which was a four terabyte uh, Thunderbolt 3 drive, their extreme line. And again, the key is, is that you don't need any tools to take this apart. It's as simple as Popping that out and boom, we're in business. I've opened it up. I can drop in N, any, excuse me, M.2 uh, NVMe drive that I want and then basically leverage the true performance, just about the true performance, right, of that NVMe drive because now I have an actual enclosure that can. Uh, but gotta love that it's tool free. Uh, they've included what appears to be some adhesive thermal pads. Um, and yeah, it's just really that simple. Now, traditionally there would be screws here. Um, you can see that with the drive that I just brought in before. Uh, and in order to get access to the internal of one of their external drives, that's not meant to be opened up, you would have to peel these back. I haven't done it myself and open it up. And yeah, that's why this is, as I said, stated at the top of the video, a tool free enclosure, which I also have um, the USB 3.2 version of their tool free. And I love that thing. I mean, if you want to be able to hot swap NVMe drives, uh, it's basically, you know, unmatched. Uh, build quality is great. Uh, so, you know, you don't have to worry about, I mean, I'm not saying throw this thing around, but it is a tank of an enclosure. Uh, and the look and feel is exactly that of their extreme drives. But of course, this is now giving you the ability to make your own, which I think is great. If you have any older NVMe drives or, uh, you know, you're just looking to take something out of your system and make it portable, which at this point, if you want something that's great for, uh, of course, this, the beauty of this is getting over a gig a second over Thunderbolt 3 in terms of transfer speeds. So for real time, uh, whether you're recording video with a black magic camera or your video editing, this is basically the enclosure to pick up right now, in my opinion, because I mean, what, who else can you turn to? Uh, but that pretty much sums things up, you know, a little bit of paperwork here, uh, to just let you know how to use the drive itself, connecting it for the first time. Uh, you know, Sabrent stands behind their products. That's part of the reason I appreciate what they do. Forget that they've been killing it um, for a while now, just doing things no one else is doing in the business. 
uh, and really pushing the envelope on performance. And yeah, they're expensive, meaning not the enclosure. I mean, it's 90 bucks, which is not inexpensive, but for the performance, it's fantastic. When you think about the fact that they're regular 3.2 drives in this, you know, capacity, just an enclosure retail for $50, $60 and then are on sale at any given time for around 30 this is well worth it if you can leverage Thunderbolt 3. And then if you have something like this, which is their four terabyte uh, rocket Q drive, well, then you've got a pair, a match made in heaven. And that rounds it out. Again, just a quick look at that Sabrent uh, uh, Thunderbolt 3, basically mimicking their extreme line of enclosures. But again, the beauty being that it's tool free which I absolutely love. This is just versatility that I didn't have before, and I'm thankful they sent it over. Of course, I will be testing it out uh, with that uh, four terabyte that you just saw come into frame. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe, and please stay safe. Later.